yeah. just 10 years ago, yeah. just 15 years ago. So that is a lot of progress. And I think the media always leads what society wants or most of the time because portray their society issues and desires, you know? So I, I would- it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of progress in the last 15 years. I would agree with that. Like you look at a show like Pose, like, I mean, that never Unthinkable. existed. Unthinkable. Yeah. And couldn't like, have swept the awards and before. couldn't, you know, and, and you know what? That show couldn't have existed without Billy. Everybody's great, but he is, he's just electric on that show. So I'm, I, I think the show happened at exactly the right time. Billy Porter was a huge part of the show. And, and even- girls being cast for, for many other movies which is the thematic is not about the right. being trans, which is not even have the need to address yeah. the, the, the trans or not. It's just there. They are there as actresses, yeah. they are there as, as, a, as, a, as a professionals, and that's- And just the way it should be, being successful on a show allows you to launch into more shows, you know? So yeah, that, that, see, I'm feeling good about it. Right, like that, and like Laverne Cox is like on the red carpet now, like on E, and like yeah. there's, I mean, yeah, there's a lot that has. Do you guys have like Sam? You were saying you go to bed early because you need to be up. Like, do you guys have guilty pleasures? Like, are you into like nighttime TV? Like, do you watch any TV? Um, I so I had retired, and then Channel Seven asked if I would come back, and we made a deal that I would come back four days a week. So I work in New York. Monday through Thursday, and then I come home to our home in Miami for, and I say this to explain, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because I don't expect anybody to know what my schedule is. So four days a week, I'm in bed at six o'clock at night, and I get up at two o'clock in the morning, and morning television is the worst schedule in the world, and I don't know why anybody wants me to do it, because I'm not a morning person. I've never understood it, but anyway, that said, coffee. <laughs> lots coffee. coffee, lots of coffee. As like, we're all drinking coffee, and it's like 4.30 in exactly. the afternoon, like we're all God here with our coffee. God bless it, cheers, my friend, God yes. bless it. Without um, coffee, um, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> with nothing, there's nothing. But he likes, he finds shows. So uh, when, when I come here, he's already found like a list of shows that we watch. And so we will watch shows on um, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, we'll try to catch up on shows. But still even that, even if it's a couple hours a night, I'm really bad at what's popular on nighttime TV. I just don't know. Yeah, and you cannot uh, be out of your schedule in the weekends too, because you have to keep the rhythm, you know? Cannot yeah. Sleep too late. For us, actually people used to, used to ask how it works for us that different time we live in different time zones like mm -hmm. uh, he's go to bed at six i go to bed at midnight or 1 a.m so uh for us actually work really well because after six then he's in bed i'm creative i can be creative i can go to the studio and i can brainstorm and create and research and by midnight i'm in bed so at that time then he coming back in the morning from work i wake up already you know, so it worked well. It's funny, it worked out really well in a way that I could never have imagined it working, but it is his naturally more creative time. And then I'm out of the way. So he doesn't have to put up with me wanting something or saying something or interrupting him because I'm sound asleep and he can just be creative, you know, all night long. I am such a morning person. I could work in morning TV. I don't go to bed at six, uh, but I go to bed. I mean, it's getting later and later just because... COVID has changed everything. I used to go to bed at like 9 p.m. I could go to bed at like 8.30. And I could, I wake up at the crack of dawn and go to the gym and I'm like ready to start work at like 6 a.m. usually. Who are you? That is not normal. It's That's just that like, I mean, like if I'm out for the night, don't get me wrong. Give me a drink and I'll stay out all night. Like don't, <laughs> but when I'm like home, I'm just like, I love that morning, like 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. Like I just did so much before anyone's even up and it's dark out and I'm having my coffee. I'm like weird like that. Yeah, you need to come to morning TV because we need people like you. Most of us just don't, we just found ourselves there going, how did this happen? Now, when I had 11 o'clock news, that was my life in New York. That was the, the 90s and certainly through most of the uh, 2000s um, that that was awesome because we would finish the show 
at 1130 and I'd call my friends and we'd go to every bar, every club, every whatever it was right after work. You know, you're wide awake. You go out all night, come home at three and I didn't have to get up three or four and I didn't have to get up until afternoon to do the five o'clock news. So it was the perfect schedule for me. I loved that schedule. Yeah, I, I think I'd prefer the morning. <laughs> I don't know why, but I mean, don't get, again, if I'm out at night, I'm always the one yeah. who's like, now I'm like, okay, let's just stay out all night. Like now, now I'm ready to go. I'm always the one who like, doesn't want to go out, you know, late, but then I'm like, let's just stay out now. It's kind of like a little bit of both. So you guys don't watch any reality TV, like none of that stuff, like housewives, all of that. You never got into it. So we're fortunate I mean, in my job when I was at GMA, I think I, I, I met everyone who was on those shows and they would send us the shows and we would watch the shows before we interviewed them. So I have some running knowledge that is old of those shows, but I really don't have a connection to them. Like when I was going through all of your shows, you know, you love, you love those shows. I do love those shows. I'm not, I'm not backing away from that, but let me tell you as much as I love those shows, the, my, all these listeners love those shows. I mean, like, I know you were talking about Elvira, Cassandra Peterson, like yeah. I have had on this show, like Susan Lucci, Fran Joshua. Oh, no, I love Susan. Susan's amazing. Icon, an icon of epic proportions. Now, I'm not saying nobody listened. Lots of people listen, but nothing this audience wants nothing more from me than housewives uh, period period the end that those are the shows look at the numbers don't lie right those are the shows that just they wouldn't be so popular if they didn't have fans yeah and they, just... and they are they are fascinating to watch i catch one in a once in a while i catch some episodes <laughs> but i just cannot follow through you know because our schedule we always travel we cannot follow through but I wish we have a, like uh, make more time for that. Yeah, it's fine. Socially, we have had the wonderful opportunity to meet a lot of them, um, and they're wonderful ladies. They're lots of fun. I just don't have that. They're a lot of fun. I just don't have the time to invest. I mean, I kind of one day will, I guess. Would you guys, if someone came to you and said, "Listen, you know, you're flying back and forth. Maybe, maybe this is a reality show right here before our eyes." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I think, I think we're public enough. You know? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. That's, I mean, it will be interesting, but it's a lot. I know, and you, I know you've talked to them about the business of that and what that does to their lives, which is completely different from the show itself, you know? And some of their experiences are great. Some of them love it for what it's done for their lives. And then some of it hasn't been so good, you know, for what, uh, the real part of the work of it, because it is a show um, and they have to, you know, make a lot of life adjustments to do that show. Um, some of it works out. Yes. And you have to do a lot to keep that going over. Right. It's a lot time. of work. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I think it's in a way, I'm not sure why anyone that's already established with a career would do it. And that's no shade to anyone that's on it. It's more like if it gives you certain things on the side, great. But if you're already at a certain level, like with, you know, a successful art career, a successful career in broadcast journalism, I'm not sure there's much upside, but lots yeah. of people do. 